I feel like today is the significant anniversary of something. No, no, can we please not talk about that? I'm sorry for squirting water on you. Woo! Oh, are you just gonna get hammered? Get me a toaster. Magic Angel Robot from Winnipeg! What the hell are you talking about? This team is ruining my life! My voice is back after a brief hiatus. We got two games to talk about. Boston, Montreal, LA, Anaheim. We'll start with Boston and Montreal and we'll keep it short. Game seven. Between these two, could you ask for more? No, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Game six, some masterful hockey. This whole series is oh, beautiful to watch. As an outsider looking in, the series is a 10 out of 10. I can't imagine what it's like for Bruins fans and Habs fans. One complaint though, one big complaint. Earmuffs, kids. I get the intensity. That's what makes these games great. I get the rivalry. That's what makes these games great. I get the hatred because that's what makes these games great. But you know what I could do without the bullshit. And it's been a big problem in this series. Not just this series though. Kind of across the board in these playoffs. I can take fans chirping but I don't like a lot of what I see. The PK stuff. I, I don't really need to say anymore. The PK stuff. All of it. Then there's all the talk about the spearing in the balls. And the water bottle stuff. And then last night the Habs fans are throwing things. There was one guy who was walking around with a bear skin and and then there was a bar that had a hanging Zidane Chara. And then people go, oh, could you imagine if a Boston bar did that too? Obviously, what other Montreal player do you think they're going to say there? Brian Gianta, because he's the captain? Yeah. And I'm sifting through all this crap, and sometimes I even get sucked into that crap. And I'm just like, no. No, I'm on strike. I'm on strike because I love this series. I love the hockey that's being played. I love the personalities. I love the performances, and I love the fan passion too. Montreal's rocking every game. Boston's rocking every game. It's a rocking series, and I'd rather focus on that. Because every time I want to read about the series, I go on Twitter. Obviously, I go on Twitter. That's my love. And it takes me about five seconds to go, ugh. What are people talking? Uh, and now we're outraged about. Uh, what a Henry Lung. Uh, but they didn't find Crosby for. Uh, and Marka. Uh, and the Char. Uh, and this bar had a. Uh, where do you even buy a bear skin? Uh, stay classy. Uh. If you are one of those people who does stay classy blanks fans. I'm not gonna say I hate you, I'm not gonna say you're stupid because people change. But knock that shit off. Or maybe, maybe I'm getting too caught up. Because players, they go at it on the ice. They compete, sometimes it gets heated. Well, what are fans supposed to do? They get caught up too, they get invested. Sometimes things get a little heated on their side too. If the Montreal players hate the Boston players and the Boston players hate the Montreal players, then the Montreal fans can hate the Boston fans and the Boston fans can hate the Montreal fans. Which is fine, that's so fine. But I promise to try something if you do too. Pause, take a second to think and go, would an idiot do this? If the answer is yes, then frig off. Because I am trying to watch hockey. Not to mention, it's the one year anniversary of game seven and I'm a little, I'm just, oh, and the voice is going again. I'm a little fragile and vulnerable and can you just not? I can't even today, I just can't. I just want to focus on the hockey. Which the Habs played damn well, didn't they? People talk about how they were rough and aggressive like the Bruins. They were fast. Hit, get out. I think people often get caught up when they talk about the Habs and Bruins like it's a, it's a rock versus scissors. Thing. Or, or perhaps a uh, grass type Pokemon versus a water type Pokemon. Where the Bruins are just these big bunch of goony lugs. And the Habs are these teeny tiny speedy water bugs. No, no. The Bruins got some speed and they got some skill. A lot of it actually. And the Habs got some grit and the Habs got some size. A lot of it actually. And if either team forgets the other has the other, then they lose. So I don't buy this narrative that, oh, the Habs beat the Bruins at their own game. No, the Habs beat the Bruins at the Habs game. What will happen in game seven? We'll have to see. Hopefully free of bullshit. Now, the Kings and the Ducks. Oh boy, what did I talk about last game? The Ducks get out to this lead, they have a good first period, John Gibson looks sick, and oh my goodness no. Through almost two full periods, the shots are relatively even, and the Ducks, more importantly, are up four to one. Smith Pelly looking great, because Smith Pelly's great. Really giving him a chance in these playoffs. And then what happens? You see, last game, if you remember, the Ducks outshot the Kings 14 to 11 in the first period, and then through the next two periods, Periods, the Kings outshot them 19 to 3. I remember that because I have no life. Marion Gabrick scores one for the Kings. 4-2 Ducks at the end of the second period. I want you to guess the third period shots. You could have also just paused the video. 4 
14 to 2! I talked about weeks ago, I don't think this is a league where you can crawl into a shell anymore. Unless your goalie stands on his head and shoulders, knees and toes. Which John Gibson did, stopping 13 of 14 in the third period. The Ducks hold on to win by one, and they go to game six, up 3 to 2 in the series. Now what's the saying? I, th I think there's a few. You showed me a good goalie, I'll show you a good coach. Uh, you show me a good goalie, I'll show you a good team. Fair enough, but the Ducks might want to, you know, step it up a bit for the guy who just played his fifth NHL game, second in the playoffs. Especially if Marion Gabrick's going to stay this hot. Holy crap. Now, questions of the night. What do you think about what I was discussing with the Bruins and the Habs? I think the reason I say it, not just because I love this series, I love the hockey being played, I know a lot of Bruins fans. I know a lot of Habs fans, and they're not dicks. So when I see someone go, hey, look at that stupid whole group of people, I get a little upset. Even when it's not necessarily my group of people. But you know what? It is kind of my group of people. People are my group of people. Be better to people, is what I'm saying. Now, you've been getting videos almost daily from me, and we're gonna go a little quiet. I'm gonna take almost a week off. Not a full week, but almost a week. I'm about to go on my bachelor party trip. Because I'm getting married in July. Well, I don't I don't have the engagement, right? I mean, guys typically don't. You can if you want. Play Play on, play on, but I, I just, I don't, I don't know. So, because I'm not going to be here for a bit, I want to try something. So this dangle jinx we've been talking about, let's see what it's made of. The Blackhawks will beat the Wild. The Ducks will beat the Kings. Ugh, oh, Pitts, New York will beat, ah! The Rangers will beat the Penguins, and... Boston will beat Montreal. And I'll just go ahead and leave that little time bomb behind. If you like this video, click like. If you want to subscribe, you go right ahead because you'll get more videos when I'm back. Tell all your friends about it. And if I jinxed your team just now, I'm very sorry.